Located in Tama County, Otter Creek Lake Park is a popular county park, attracting over 45,000 visitors and over 7,000 campers annually. Home to the Tama County Nature Center and County Conservation Board headquarters, Otter Creek Lake has been an important local destination for connecting to the outdoors for over 50 years. A fantastic gym located right in the middle of the county, uh, full of plenty of opportunities for campground, uh, or camping, recreation, and uh, plenty of trails to, to explore. Constructed in 1968, the 74-acre lake has served the surrounding communities as a local hotspot for fishing, kayaking, and camping. However, sedimentation in the lake and frequent algae blooms have limited opportunities at the park in recent years. Really bad turbidity, you could barely see through the water. Uh, I had mentioned before that it had silted over so bad that you could darn near, it looked like you were walking over the surface of the water. Like many other lakes in Iowa, Otter Creek Lake is eutrophic, meaning that it's very nutrient rich. While low levels of nutrients are needed to support fish and plant growth of our lakes, overabundance of these nutrients, especially phosphorus, can lead to harmful algae blooms, low oxygen, little to no aquatic vegetation, and a poor fish community. So for Otter Creek Lake, um, sediment nutrient loading, the upper third of the lake had gone from about three feet deep down to about six inches of depth. So this can create problems, not just recreationally, I can't get my boat on, I can't get up to that part of the lake, but also we know at these shallower depths we have resuspension of sediment and nutrients, we have uh, things that drive algae growth. In the 1990s, the Tama County Conservation Board, Tama Soil and Water Conservation District, and the Iowa DNR worked to address some of these concerns through a watershed improvement project. The county also started planning for a future restoration project and setting aside funding to help improve the lake and watershed. The fortunate thing we had with Otter Creek Lake and Tama County, they have a long history and track record of putting conservation on the ground. One of the major efforts to reduce sediment and nutrients to the lake over the past 30 years has been to restore portions of the watershed to native vegetation. The original park property, purchased in the late 1960s, measured just 277 acres. The county worked to expand the park through the addition of four parcels of land purchased between 2007 and 2010, bringing the current park acreage to 529 acres. The expanded park footprint now encompasses over 50% of the total watershed. Park staff have restored these areas to prairie, providing critical habitat for wildlife and helping to stabilize soils and reduce nutrient inputs to Otter Creek Lake. But we got to a point with Otter Creek Lake where um, major things needed to happen, like um, infrastructure of the dam. We have uh, these constructed lakes in Iowa. You know, you start getting 50, 60 years old. Um, they naturally have things that need to be looked at. Just like uh, at your home, anybody that owns a home that was built in the late 60s, you have not just continued maintenance, but then every once in a while you have to step in and do large scale type repair or replacement. In 2014, the local community began partnering with the Iowa DNR and the County Conservation Board to better understand recent sources and impacts of nutrients and sediment on the lake and formulate a plan for addressing current water quality problems to improve the lake for the next generation of users. We start thinking in, the, in those terms, like another 50 years of providing a resource, providing a community uh, a place for people to gather and, uh, and recreate. To me, that's kind of what it's all about. A water quality improvement plan was developed to address the lake's impairments, and a new watershed management plan was developed to help partners prioritize areas of the lake and watershed for restoration. The plan gave partners a goal of reducing phosphorus loads by 70% to help the lake meet its water quality standards and reduce the frequency and intensity of algae blooms. Several watershed practices were installed by neighboring landowners between 2018 and 2019, including the construction of two new ponds, grass waterways, and a wetland near the park boundary. Watershed best management practices like these help prevent pollutants from reaching the lake. I think um, people realize how they can also contribute and, and make a system resilient because a lot of those things that we do on the watershed uh, help, help what we do in the lake last a lot longer. Construction on the lake project began in 2021 with the renovation of several ponds within the park. 23,834 cubic yards of excess sediment were removed from three existing silt basins. Removing excess sediment from these basins will restore functionality and protect the lake for the next generation. 
A new large wetland was constructed on the main tributary of the lake, utilizing funds provided by the US EPA Section 319 program. This eight acre wetland will help capture sediment and phosphorus, as well as provide excellent habitat for a variety of aquatic animals like frogs, turtles, fish, and migratory waterfowl. So we dredged it out, made it a much more deeper uh, productive habitat for the fish out here uh, to make it a, a, a fantastic improved gem uh, from what we had before. Draining the lake and improving the dam infrastructure was another key component of the first phase of the restoration project. Otter Creek Lake was kind of interesting as, as it didn't have an ability to be drained down. So uh, we went from a lake that needed to be siphoned if it was ever gonna be drained down. The lake was partially drawn down using existing siphons on the spillway starting in 2021, and a notch was cut into the existing dam to completely drain the lake so that a new pipe and valve could be installed at the base of the dam. The video here is a time-lapse of the notch being cut into the dam to safely drain Otter Creek Lake. The new valve helped keep the lake from refilling throughout the restoration project and will give lake managers the opportunity to manage water levels in the lake moving forward. In-lake restoration work began in 2022 following the completion of the dam infrastructure improvements. 150,935 cubic yards of excess sediment and native soil were removed from the lake bed to restore depth to areas of the lake previously lost to siltation. That's just over 10,000 dump trucks full of sediment. We've pulled that out. Uh, tossed it up on top of the hills. We're actually going to plant prairie on all that silt removal. Dredging will help minimize sediment resuspension from wind and wave action, create new habitat for aquatic life, and provide new recreational opportunities at the park. So now we've got this fantastic lake that we're just waiting to fill up. Uh, we've got campground that we did some improvements on at the same time. We're hoping to spruce those back up. Additionally, 4,970 feet of shoreline was stabilized around the lake to reduce erosion and help improve water clarity. This represents just over 50% of the shoreline at Otter Creek Lake. Parking and drainage near the beach was also improved to help direct water away from the sand and provide a safer user experience for park visitors. The county is also working on additional beach area amenities to be installed in the coming years, including new playground equipment. Finally, numerous improvements to the fishery were included as a part of the restoration project to expand opportunities for anglers in the future and improve the overall quality of the fishery. A new fishing jetty was added to the lake as a part of the project and existing jetties were improved to promote shoreline fishing access. Additionally, new fish habitat was installed throughout the lake basin near shore to provide structure and spawning habitat for panfish and create new opportunities for anglers. Now it's been restocked with bluegill, catfish, uh, largemouth bass, and so as this lake refills in a couple years down the road, that's what I think uh, we hear a lot. People are really excited about get back to a lake and see a fishery that's kind of rebounded and more in balance and, uh, and looking forward to those, those kind of fishing opportunities as well. The Otter Creek Lake Restoration Project represents over a $5 million investment in the future of the park, utilizing a combination of local, state, and federal funds. Lakes become the focal point for that community. It's got everything. If you're an outdoor guy, uh, you want to hike, come on out. If, you want, if you're a bird watcher, come. we've got a million birds. Uh, come check out the lake once it's full. Plenty of fishing opportunities. Uh, the camping is uh, fantastic. We've got great rates and um, uh, there's just plenty of stuff to do throughout the rest of the season.